hey, so in this video, I want to talk about when it's okay to chase a woman. You might have watched some of my other videos where I talk about letting women chase you. That is a very important concept to understand. You do need to let women chase you because that's a fundamental part of the seduction process. But there is a time and a place where you need to chase a woman. Knowing when you need to chase a woman is really important because you can't have a woman chase you right from the beginning. She's not going to do that. Some women do, but most of the time, if you see a girl you find attractive, you're going to have to chase her in the beginning of the relationship. The natural flow of a seduction goes something like this. In the beginning, the man shows his interest, he expresses his desire to be with a woman, and lets her know that he likes her and he finds her attractive. That's in the beginning of the relationship. You let her know you're interested, you communicate that desire, and then you chase her a little bit and you get her interest and you show her that you want to be with her and you like being with her and you find her attractive, you make her feel desirable and you create this spark of attraction. But if you keep doing this all the way through the seduction process and you don't allow a woman to chase you, you're going to turn her off, right? There comes a point in time where you need to back away and allow the woman to chase you. I recommend showing your interest in the beginning and chasing a woman until you become physically intimate with her, until you've kissed her, until you've had sexual intercourse, then at that point in time, she's naturally going to want to start to chase you and you have to back off and allow her to chase you because if you don't back off at that point in time, it's going to turn her off. And that's a big mistake that a lot of guys make. They chase and chase and chase. Even when they're having sex with a girl, they keep chasing her and keep showing their interest and you don't allow her time and space to find you attractive. You don't back away, you don't create mystery, you don't create any sense of challenge and she starts to get bored and she starts to get turned off by your behavior. At that point in time where you become physically intimate with a girl, you need to back off and allow her to chase you. Let her chase you because women love that. They find it really attractive if they chase a man. Now, I remember one of my readers sent me this email a long time ago and he was saying that he met this really beautiful girl at a concert, found her really attractive, got a phone number, they started talking, they had sex, and all of a sudden he couldn't really understand why she was losing attraction for him. He said the sex was fantastic, they had great conversations, they loved being with each other, they spent a lot of time together, but she just pulled away and she started to lose interest in him. And what actually happened was this, he met her, he generated interest, he created a sense of challenge and mystery, they got to know each other, they became physical, but after they became physically intimate, he kept on chasing her. He kept on sending her loads of messages. He kept on calling her all the time. He kept on talking to her for hours on the phone, messaging, 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 and she just lost interest and she got bored because as the research shows, women need to feel a sense of challenge and mystery. And also research has found that women don't find responsive men to be attractive. So keep this in mind. If you want to create real attraction with a woman, you need to know when to chase and when to let her chase you. Now, if you go to my website and pick up a copy of my book, Atomic Attraction, you'll know all about this because it goes into building and creating intense attraction in a lot of detail and you won't have any problems with women if you read the book. You can pick up your copy today by clicking on the link below. And if you need help with a specific relationship problem, don't forget I do Skype and email consultations. And if you just want to get in touch, send me an email. I love to hear from you guys. Talk soon.